So back to our site plan, we see that up next, we're going to want to come up with a way to organize our content now that we have our content types in place. Before we can actually organize our content, however, we're going to need more content to organize. Instead of sitting here and creating 5 or 10 or 50 pieces of dummy content on our own, that's going to be a time-consuming and tedious process. We're going to use a module called Devel. Devel helps you with a number of things on development sites, but what we're going to use it for here is just to generate some dummy content for us. Now, I should note that as of the recording of this video, Drupal 8 has only been out for about a week. A lot of modules are not quite ready for Drupal 8. So we're going to use a development release of this module for our version. 8.x is what you need for any Drupal 8 site. When you're viewing this video, if you see an 8.x version in green, definitely use that one. And especially if you're on a, a live site, a production site, you always want to use the version of the module that's in green. But for me, since there's nothing else available, I'm going to use this one. I have tested it out and it seems to work just fine, so there shouldn't be a problem. So at this point, go ahead and pause the tutorial, download and install the Devel module. If you have a green version here, make sure you use that, and then come back when you're done. Once you have the Devel module installed, let's make sure we enable it by clicking on Extend, which is where we access all of our modules. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit to Development. And here, if you haven't enabled it, none of these boxes will be checked. For me, I've already installed and enabled it on my site, so I do have these checked. Just make sure you go ahead and check Devel and Devel Generate, and we're not going to worry about the rest of these. Once you've selected those, just go down and click Install. And once that's complete, click on the Configuration menu option, or Admin menu option, I should say. We're going to scroll down to the Development section, and now we have a new option under Development called Generate Content. Go ahead and click that. Here we can tell Devel what we want created, how much of it, and so on and so forth. We're not going to worry about basic pages. Let's create some articles and some reviews. Let's do 40 pieces of content total. This is not 40 for each. This is 40 total. And I like to set this back as far as one year ago. This is just the publish date that Devel gives the pieces of content that it creates. We're not going to worry about comments. Let's change the maximum number of words and titles to three because some of these words get a little bit long and everything else should be fine. Click Generate. And Devel gives us the message that it successfully created 40 nodes. Nodes, in Drupal terms, as you probably know, it just means basically means pieces of content. Let's go home. And if we scroll down on our homepage, we'll see this content. Some of them have images. These are articles because we haven't included an image field on our review content type. But not all articles will have images. You'll notice on this dummy content, if we go to this one, for instance, our fields, brand, model, and type are just filled with gibberish. That's all right. That's basically what uh, Devel does. Some of them uh, on articles, because we don't have tags enabled on our reviews, some of the articles will have taxonomy terms at the bottom as well. But you see that all of our fields are filled in, and we have a body for each of these. Now we can start coming up with a system to organize this content.